just want to point out let's let's all have the elephant in the room i still have an easter egg yes i'm sorry i just it's got a lot of chocolate in it it's got different flavors in it i can't help it it just won't go and also i have slightly blonder hair and darker roots i'm trying a zoella look and this is the look i'm going for ain't there yet but we're getting there all right and i feel like here looks ginger so brill hello everyone welcome back to my channel now this is going to be another someone versus someone but i want to kind of explain myself before i kind of just get started so this is actually called, as you see by the title, One Direction versus Little Mix. Now it's not in the sense of how I did the One Direction versus Zayn video where I basically slit Zayn and everyone hates me and I get thumbs down and everyone's like, nah, nah, nah. It's not like that, okay? I have made pointers. It's all about how the media perceives them and also their fan base. I just, over the over the last few years I've just kind of noticed things and I just kind of want to discuss it see if anyone else agrees see if you disagree give me your opinions in the comments below so the first thing that I've noticed is that Little Mix because it's a girl group they have a lot of younger viewers and obviously naturally most of them are females so there's a lot of little girls that go to these concerts go to the tours you know meet them and kind of obsess over them and I feel like it's really bad because I am a Little Mix fan like I like Little Mix and I just think it's not fair that they kind of get like slit into the things that they wear because it's too provocative because of their fans but it's like what I don't get is that they're not allowed in a sense to grow up because the media is typically saying they have younger fans, they need to be careful of what they wear, what they say, what they do, what they, you know, things like that. It's just, it's not fair for them. And I feel like sometimes people kind of forget, like the media and, you know, sometimes parents, that they are literally, like, in their 20s. So they are allowed to, you know, go crazy and, you know, wear a bit more sexier outfits. But... I just feel like it's not fair like if it was the other way around and it's one direction like you know sometimes they'll drop an f-bomb on stage or you know they sing the things that they sing about are quite provocative and quite cheeky and like tongue-in-cheek like you know why aren't being funny if you've listened to no control like that is that is insane is that song but that's what i mean like because one direction are a boy band it's like they get a away with it because you know, people are like, oh, the fans grew up with them. So why are the Little Mix fans not growing up with them? Because I feel like the more fans they get, the younger the fan base goes. And I don't think that's fair. And I feel like it's maybe management's fault that they're like promoting them to a younger audience rather than, you know, people their age. I feel like there's not that many people their age that they have as fans, open, open fans, that kind of would turn around and be like, yeah I'm a fan like I don't but then when you think about how far they've come from the X Factor days and after that it kind of you know they have developed quite a bit like they are now allowed to like Jessie likes to wear a leotard I mean personally I'm not into that but if she is cool but that's what I mean like they're not allowed to wear anything that they want without some sort of media trashing one of them. The boys on stage, one thing, going back to the clothing, always kind of get jeered on, I don't think of jeered is the right word, but they, can't, they always get like, a certain point, one of the boys like, oh it's hot in here, and then you just get a chance of, take it off, to, and you're just like, so boys kind of get the sex appeal in the sense that, you know, they're all sweaty and look disgusting <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, and they get encouraged like they're always like oh take off your shirt if you're so warm like I've seen that in several videos so I'm not saying that's like a, it's not a thing you can't turn around and say that's not a thing because I have seen videos of people do it to Harry people do it to Niall and I feel like nearly every single show Louis tried to like rip open um, Liam's shirt if he could and I just feel like sometimes you know like they're allowed to kind of have the jokes that oh yeah I'll, I'll take off my shirt blah 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 but 
why can't the girls wear what they want to wear? Do you know what I mean? Sometimes I feel like how people promote these bands is just not fair. Like, I feel like it's always been the same. Like, girl bands always seem to have a younger audience. Boy bands start off with the younger audience and then they sort of like grow with them. And I feel like it's not fair that Little Mix are not allowed to like completely be themselves because like they have to be careful of their audience, which is good, but at the same time it's like, so when do they get to branch out and you know, I mean I know the new album is kind of more mature than what we used to like, you know, before, like, because I have listened to the album, but like when you listen to it you can tell that like sometimes I feel like maybe they hold back a little bit. I don't know how to describe it in my head, but I can see it myself explaining it, but I never imagined how to actually explain it. But it's just kind of weird and it kind of bugs me a little bit that it's not fair for Little Mix to kind of just grow up completely without somebody in the press being like, Jessie will that outfit and fans, uh, parents are outraged at how revealing it was. How that's what they like. Let them live, let them wear what they want to wear. So why is it acceptable for a man to be shirtless but it's not alright for a girl to wear a bit of a risky outfit? It's exactly the same thing. They're practically both half naked, so what's it matter? This is kind of a short video. I just kind of wanted to just kind of get my point across to be bothering me for a little while. I don't know if anyone else agrees because like I said, this is not a One Direction versus Little Mix in the sense that I don't like Little Mix, I like One Direction, I'm going to talk about this, 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 and this. This is literally just me saying, look, I've noticed in the press and online, the girls get slated for everything they do, such as, you know, wearing revealing outfits and, you know, not being a good role model before the younger viewers, uh, younger fans. So why are they not allowed to grow up? But when I always describe one Direction and fans to people I say yeah but the thing is with One Direction is we grew up with them so if they become more mature we'd become more mature so when do little nicks get to do that? So that is all I've got to say for this week and um, I will be back next week with another video so please hit subscribe if you fancy watching some more of me ranting on about life uh, thank you so much for watching I will be back next week like I've just said Brogan's just repeating herself and yep yeah, that's it bye